Welcome back to the Classic Cinema Channel. The 1980s were not only a time of vibrant cultural and musical changes, but also an era of remarkable women with unforgettable beauty and talent. The beauties of this decade not only impress with their seductive appearance, but also with their illustrious careers in entertainment, fashion, and art. They became symbols of beauty and style, influencing many generations to come. The article below will take us back to that golden era to honor the most beautiful women of the 80s, those who left a deep mark in the public's hearts and are still remembered to this day. Christina Applegate was born on November 25, 1971, is a famous American actress. She started her career very early, making her first appearance on screen when she was just a few months old in the TV series Days of Our Lives. However, her first prominent role was Kelly Bundy in the hit comedy series Married with Children, 1987 to 1997. Applegate's career is constantly growing, with many diverse roles in movies and TV shows. She received an Emmy Award for Outstanding Guest Actress in a comedy series for her role as Amy Green on Friends. In addition, she was also nominated many times for the Golden Globe and Tony Awards. In addition to her successes in her acting career, Applegate is also known as a producer and social activist. After being diagnosed with breast cancer in 2008, she fought back strongly and became an important voice in raising awareness of the disease. Applegate is also the founder of the Right Action for Women organization, which aims to support women in testing for early detection of breast cancer. With talent and constant dedication, Christina Applegate has left a strong mark in entertainment and community. Jacqueline Smith, born October 26, 1945, is an icon of the American entertainment industry with a diverse career that includes acting, modeling, and business. She is best known to audiences for her role in the television series Charlie's Angels, where she plays Kelly Garrett, demonstrating the intelligence and determination of a member of the Angel Group. With her radiant beauty and chic fashion style, Smith has become a fashion icon and one of the main actresses of this famous film. In addition to her successful acting career, she is also a famous photo model and has designed many fashion collections under her personal brand. Smith is also a successful businessman, expanding her career from the electrical field, commercial and fashion photography. She has been successful in growing her brand and is admired for her diverse talents and determination in her work. With her elegance and timeless talent, Jacqueline Smith is more than just a shining star in the entertainment industry, but also a symbol of feminism and success in life. Kathy Ireland, born March 20, 1963, in Glendale, California, is one of the famous American models and businessmen. She began her modeling career at a very young age and quickly became famous as one of the world's top supermodels, often appearing on famous magazine covers such as the Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Issue. With her elegant beauty and classy style, Kathy Ireland attracted the attention of the fashion industry and was one of the icons of the 1980s and 1990s. In addition to her modeling career, she is also famous for her roles as a model. Game is a successful businessman. She founded Kathy Ireland Worldwide, a multinational corporation specializing in interior design, homewares, and fashion. This corporation has brought her great success and billions of dollars in revenue. Kathy Ireland is not only a fashion icon, but also a creative leader and influence in the entertainment and commercial industries. With her immense influence, Kathy Ireland is also involved in activism, charity and charity work, positively contributing to the community and society. 
Her career and contributions are not only known by those in the industry, but are also remembered and admired by many fans around the world. Michelle Pfeiffer was born on April 29, 1958 in Santa Ana, California, United States. She began her acting career in the early 1980s and quickly impressed with her pure beauty and natural acting ability. Pfeiffer's early roles in films such as Scarface 1983, and The Witches of Eastwick 1987, established her as a prominent star in the film industry. Pfeiffer's success continued, continued with notable roles in Dangerous Liaisons, 1988, Batman Returns, 1992, and The Age of Innocence, 1993, along with many other roles spanning the following decades. There, she is known for her ability to adapt to many different film genres from comedy to romance and horror, affirming her status as one of Hollywood's top actors. Pfeiffer also received many prestigious nominations and awards, including three Academy Award nominations and several Golden Globe Awards. Her elegant beauty and luxurious style are also highlights of this star's career and personal life, making her one of the icons of fashion and style in the film industry. Heather Locklear was born on September 25, 1961, and is a famous American actress with a notable career spanning over three decades. She became famous in the 1980s and 1990s, associated with prominent roles on the small screen. Her most notable role was that of Amanda Woodward in the television series Melrose Place, a role she played with charisma and artistry. Before becoming famous with Melrose Place, Locklear made his mark with the role of Sammy Joe Carrington in the series Dynasty. She has demonstrated her diverse acting abilities across genres from drama to comedy, always attracting the audience's attention with her confident style and integration into the role. Heather Locklear's physical beauty also contributes part of her success in the entertainment industry. With her radiant face and chic fashion sense, she became an icon of glamour and style in the 1980s and 1990s. Locklear continued to maintain a steady career in many film and television projects after that proves passion and commitment to art. Don't forget to like and sub to the channel to help us have more motivation to create more useful content. Elle McPherson, born March 29, 1964, is one of the world's most famous supermodels and successful commercial models. She is known by the nickname The Body thanks to her outstanding physical beauty and diverse career. McPherson began her modeling career in 1980 and quickly became one of the most popular models. She was once a cover model for many famous magazines such as Sports Illustrated and Playboy, standing out with her impressive height and perfect figure. McPherson is also successful in business and is the owner of a luxury lingerie brand. Grant L. McPherson Intimates. Besides, she also participates in acting and is a TV MC, proving her multifaceted talent. L. McPherson's physical beauty is a symbol of charm and vitality with shiny skin and long hair, golden and deep eyes. She continues to be admired for her sophisticated fashion style and confidence on stage and in her personal life. McPherson is not only a model, but also an icon of success and a multidimensional career in the international fashion and entertainment industries.
Christy Brinkley, born February 2, 1954, is one of America's most famous and successful supermodels. Starting her career in the 1970s, she has become a symbol of the modeling industry and is the representative face of a series of famous fashion and cosmetic brands. Christy Brinkley's career does not stop at modeling, but also expanded into acting and business. She has appeared on many famous fashion magazine covers and become a model for many international brands. Her success is also shown by winning many prestigious awards, contributing to strengthening her position in the entertainment industry. Christy Brinkley is also famous for her magical beauty and unexpected youthfulness throughout many years. Last year, she is one of the icons of beauty and fashion style, always attracting the attention and admiration of the public around the world. Christy Brinkley continues to be an influential woman with a versatile career and stellar looks, modeling for many different generations of women. Cheryl Ladd born July 12, 1951, is an American actress and singer known for her role as Chris Monroe in the television series Charlie's Angels in the 1970s. She began her career with as a singer and later switched to acting, famous for her combination of beauty and talent. Cheryl Ladd's greatest success was when she participated in Charlie's Angels, one of the television series most famous in the history of American television. The role of Chris Monroe helped her become a symbol of women's strength and independence in the 1970s. Cheryl Ladd's physical beauty was an important factor that helped her attract the audience's attention. She has a sunny smile and a bright, youthful face. With her elegant fashion style and sophisticated dressing sense, she has been considered one of the stars with outstanding personal style in the entertainment industry. Cheryl Ladd also participated in many other film and television projects later, proving her versatility and ability to adapt to many different types of roles. With a long career and far-reaching influence, Cheryl Ladd continues to be admired as one of Hollywood's illustrious stars. Farrah Fawcett, born February 2, 1947, is a famous American actress and model. She is known for her prominent role in the television series Charlie's Angels in the 1970s. Farrah Fawcett became a symbol of this decade with her short hair and unique fashion style. Farrah Fawcett is not only stopping at acting on the small screen, but also expanding to cinema and theater. She has acted in movies such as Logan's Run, The Burning Bed, and Extremities, where she demonstrated her diverse acting abilities. Her role in The Burning Bed helped her win an Emmy and Golden Globe nomination. Farrah Fawcett's appearance with her radiant smile and signature hairstyle captivated people's hearts and became a fashion icon if she was considered one of the most famous beauties of the decade, and her images became a sensation in magazines and posters. Farrah Fawcett is one of the most famous and beloved stars of Hollywood with a diverse career and prominence on many fronts of the entertainment industry. Cindy Crawford, born February 20th, 1966, is one of the world's most famous supermodels and fashion icons. She is known for her natural beauty and impressive fashion style. Cindy Crawford began her modeling career at a very young age and quickly became one of the most beloved faces in the fashion industry. Paige. She has appeared on the covers of famous magazines such as Vogue, Elle, and Harper's Bazaar, as well as becoming the subject model for many famous advertising campaigns. Cindy Crawford is also successful in the business and entertainment fields. 
She has acted in a number of movies and television series, as well as emceeing TV shows and participating in charity projects. Cindy Crawford's physical beauty is a symbol of charm and confidence. She has an ideal height, perfect figure, and radiant skin. Her fashion style has always been admired and inspired many generations, with a successful career spanning decades and enormous influence in the fashion and beauty industry. Lisa Robin Kelly, born on March 5, 1970, in Southington, Connecticut, captivated audiences with her compelling portrayal of Laurie Foreman in the beloved TV series, That 70s Show. Despite her undeniable talent and early success, Kelly's life was marred by the tumultuous struggles of substance abuse. Throughout her career, Kelly grappled with personal demons, and her battles with addiction often overshadowed her professional achievements. Despite her setbacks, her dedication to her craft remained unwavering and her performances continued to resonate with audiences. The devastating effects of addiction ultimately took their toll. On August 15, 2013, tragedy struck when Kelly passed away at the age of 43 in Paxton, Massachusetts. The cause of her death was attributed to multiple drug intoxication, a stark reminder of the dangers and consequences of substance abuse. Kelly's untimely death sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry and left fans mourning the loss of a talented actress whose potential was tragically cut short. Her passing serves as a poignant reminder of the importance of addressing mental health and addiction issues, particularly within the demanding and often unforgiving landscape of Hollywood. Fred Willard, born on September 18, 1933 in Shaker Heights, Ohio, was a revered American actor, celebrated for his comedic brilliance and versatile performances spanning over five decades. Rising to prominence through his roles in improv comedy troupes, Willard's career flourished with memorable portrayals in both television and film. His breakthrough came with his portrayal of Jerry Hubbard in the satirical series Fernwood Two Night and its spin-off America Two Night where his deadpan delivery and sharp improvisational skills earned him widespread acclaim. Willard's comedic genius further solidified through iconic roles in films such as Best in Show, Anchorman, The Legend of Ron Burgundy, and Waiting for Guffman. Tragically, on May 15, 2020, at the age of 86, Fred Willard passed away peacefully in his sleep at his Los Angeles home. Willard's passing occurred peacefully in his sleep at his home in Los Angeles, California. While the exact cause of his death was not publicly disclosed, it was reported that he died of natural causes. The announcement of his demise was met with an outpouring of tributes from fellow actors, comedians and fans worldwide all expressing their profound sadness at the loss of a true comedic icon. Lamont Bentley, born on October 25, 1973, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, was a talented American actor best known for his role as Hakeem Campbell in the sitcom Moshe. Bentley's career began with early appearances in television commercials before landing his breakthrough role on Moshe, where he showcased his acting prowess and charismatic presence. Despite his promising start in the entertainment industry, Bentley's life was tragically cut short. On January 19, 2005, at the age of 31, Bentley was involved in a fatal car accident in Ventura County, California. The circumstances surrounding the accident were heartbreaking, as Bentley reportedly lost control of his vehicle, causing it to plunge off the freeway and roll multiple times. He was pronounced dead at the scene, leaving behind a grieving family, friends and fans. The sudden and untimely death of Lamont Bentley sent shockwaves through the entertainment community, leaving many to mourn the loss of a talented actor with a bright future ahead. 
Despite the tragic end to his life, Bentley's contributions to television and film continue to be remembered fondly, serving as a testament to his talent and the impact he made during his brief but memorable career. Show some love. Please subscribe to the channel marked one if you like this video and let's spread positivity together. James Avery, born on November 27, 1945 in Virginia, tragically passed away on December 31, 2013 at the age of 68. The circumstances surrounding his death were related to complications arising from open heart surgery, which he underwent in Glendale, California. Avery's untimely demise sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, leaving fans and colleagues mourning the loss of a talented actor and beloved figure. The news of Avery's passing prompted an outpouring of grief and tributes from around the world, as people remembered him not only for his iconic role as Uncle Phil in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, but also for his numerous contributions to television, film and theatre. His commanding presence and authoritative voice had made him a standout performer, and his ability to seamlessly transition between comedic and dramatic roles had earned him widespread acclaim throughout his career. Despite his death, James Avery's legacy endures through the impact of his memorable performances and the lasting influence of the characters he brought to life. He remains a beloved figure in the hearts of fans, whose admiration for his talent and contributions to the entertainment industry will continue to be celebrated for generations to come. Richard Hurd, born on September 26, 1932 in Boston, Massachusetts, was a distinguished American actor celebrated for his versatile performances across television, film and stage. Throughout his prolific career, Hurd portrayed a wide array of characters, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. Hurd's acting credits include a multitude of roles in popular television series such as Star Trek The Next Generation, where he played Admiral Owen Paris and Seinfeld where he portrayed Mr. Wilhelm. Tragically, Richard Hurd passed away on May 26, 2020, at the age of 87. The cause of his death was reported to be complications from cancer. His passing was met with an outpouring of tributes from fans and colleagues who fondly remembered him for his contributions to the entertainment industry and his generosity as a colleague. Despite his death, Hurd's legacy lives on through the enduring impact of his performances and the fond memories he created for audiences worldwide. Jerry Stiller, born on June 8, 1927 in Brooklyn, New York, was a beloved American actor and comedian known for his iconic roles in film and television. Stiller's career spanned several decades, during which he endeared himself to audiences with his unique blend of humour and charisma. Stiller gained widespread recognition for his roles in the hit sitcoms Seinfeld and The King of Queens, where he portrayed the eccentric and lovable characters of Frank Costanza and Arthur Spooner, respectively. His impeccable comedic timing and larger-than-life personality made him a standout performer in both shows, earning him critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. In addition to his work on television, Stiller also enjoyed success in film, appearing in comedies such as Zoolander alongside his son, Ben Stiller, with whom he shared the screen on multiple occasions. On May 11, 2020, Jerry Stiller passed away at the age of 92. The cause of his death was reported to be natural causes. His passing was met with an outpouring of tributes from fans and colleagues who fondly remembered him for his talent, wit and warmth both on and off screen. Your feedback is very important. If you like what you see, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you very much.
David Schramm, born on August 14, 1946, was an accomplished American actor renowned for his contributions to both stage and screen. Best known for his role as Roy Biggins in the popular sitcom Wings, Schramm's career spanned over four decades, during which he showcased his exceptional talent and versatility. Schramm's journey in the entertainment industry was marked by a series of memorable performances in theatre productions, television shows and films. His portrayal of Roy Biggins, the irritable and often comical airline owner in Wings, earned him widespread acclaim and cemented his status as a respected character actor. Tragically, David Schramm passed away on March 28, 2020, at the age of 73. The cause of his death was reported to be due to complications from a heart attack. His sudden passing was met with sadness from fans and colleagues alike, who remembered him for his talent, professionalism and warm personality. He will always be remembered as a gifted actor whose contributions enriched the world of television and theatre. Shelley Morrison, born on October 26, 1936, was a cherished American actress celebrated for her remarkable career in television and film. Best remembered for her portrayal of Rosario Salazar in the groundbreaking sitcom Will and Grace, Morrison left an enduring legacy in the entertainment industry with her talent and warmth. Throughout her career, Morrison captivated audiences with her memorable performances and impeccable comedic timing. Her portrayal of Rosario, Karen Walker's feisty maid, earned her widespread acclaim and endeared her to fans around the world. Tragically, Shelley Morrison passed away on December 1, 2019, at the age of 83. The cause of her death was reported to be heart failure. Her untimely passing left a void in the hearts of fans and colleagues who mourned the loss of a talented actress and beloved friend. Her legacy lives on through her iconic roles and the impact she made on the lives of those who had the pleasure of watching her perform. John Paul Steyer, born on March 27, 1984, was a promising American actor and musician known for his early success in both fields. Steuer began his acting career at a young age, making a notable impression with his role as Alexander Rozhenko in Star Trek The Next Generation and later starring in the sitcom Grace Under Fire as Quentin Kelly. Despite his young age, Steuer's talent and maturity were evident in his performances, earning him praise from critics and fans alike. He transitioned smoothly into music, fronting the punk rock band Soda Pop Kids and showcasing his versatility as an artist. John Paul Stoyer's tragic death by suicide on January 1st, 2018, at the age of 33, shocked many who knew him. While the specific reasons behind his decision to take his own life may never be fully understood, it is believed that Stoyer struggled with personal demons and mental health challenges. Like many individuals in the entertainment industry, he likely faced pressures and uncertainties that contributed to his emotional distress. He is remembered not only for his talent, but also for the light he brought into the world during his time in it. Do you know the real reason behind his death? Please leave a comment below. Robert Pastorelli, born on June 21, 1954, was a talented American actor best known for his role as Eldon Benecki in the popular sitcom Murphy Brown. Gee. Throughout his career, Pastorelli showcased his versatility and charisma in various film and television projects, earning him recognition and acclaim from audiences and critics alike. Tragically, Robert Pastorelli passed away on March 8, 2004, at the age of 49. The circumstances surrounding his death were attributed to an accidental drug overdose. His untimely demise shocked and saddened his fans, as well as the entertainment industry as a whole. Pastorelli's passing served as a reminder of the struggles that many individuals face, even amidst professional success. 
Despite his tragic end, he is remembered fondly for his contributions to film and television, leaving behind a legacy of memorable performances and a lasting impact on those who had the pleasure of watching him work. As we reflect on the dazzling women who defined the 1980s, their beauty and talent continue to inspire. These icons not only captivated audiences with their charm, but also shaped the cultural landscape of their time. Let's celebrate their enduring legacy by remembering their contributions to entertainment, fashion, and art. Like and subscribe to stay connected with more nostalgic journeys through the golden era of cinema.